every time you go into a fire, you always take a tool. And you never, ever break that rule. It'll save your life. Halligan is a tried and true. There's a reason why there's one of these on about every fire truck, because uh, it's, it's, it's battle proven. Um, it, it's very versatile. You can get into just about any residential door with just using this. And you can get out of about any window using this. Um, there's a thousand different uses for this. This is a great tool. And uh, if you found your window, there's no there's no ladder out here. You're going to have to make your anchor, right? So you got to have something to tie your rope to so you can get out, right? So what if there's no anchor right around you? And don't forget, you can tie it around a love seat, a couch, a bed, anything that can't fit through this window, you can use as an anchor. Um, but if none of those are around you, right? Um, you want to, you can do what you call a uh, halligan in the floor, which is where you get about. You don't want it right, right here, but out, about, about out here, and take it just like that into the floor. Take your, take your loop on your, on your, on your, on your, or you, if you have a beaner on there, it'll work too. Tie it around the fork, because remember, this is a halligan. That's the, that's the point. That's the ads. This is the fork. This side's the beveled side. Down into the floor, take your beaner, wrap it, not like this, but like that, okay? And then wrap it around a couple times, just like that. And that'll, that, that'll hold you. Okay, that's if you have a wooden floor. If you have a concrete floor and you have sheetrock walls, you can do what you call a tool on the wall technique. And it's a very, very effective technique, very fast, very simple. You take the loop, put it around the fork, take your halogen, bubble side up, six to eight inches over from the sill, eight to 18 inches up, jam it in the wall, it's gonna fracture that sheetrock. It's gonna punch a hole through that sheetrock. Your tool will stop on the veneer side, which would be the brick or metal or whatever is on the outside of the wall. It's gonna stop it. Then you take it and you push it up, and that's gonna fracture, put a little line of fracture in the sheetrock, and then you're just gonna push your tool down into the wall as far as you can get it and that will hold you and you're thinking there's no way sheetrock will hold me but it will because you're not pulling on it like this you're going to be pulling on it like this which means that the tool will actually be moving laterally in the wall and then back into the wall see what i'm saying see i'm pushing it it'll hold you you can also do a uh, 